Welcome everybody to Freedom Homesteaders. This is Melissa and I'll be going over our Azure haul for the month of October. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to go over for you because some people were asking, um, how do we store all of this? So I'm going to show you a few things that I store and how I store them that will be more towards the end of the video. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we got the dried mangoes. This is a normal staple of our household. This is the five pound bag. It's usually gone within, I mean, I want to say a week, but that wouldn't be honest. <laughs> it's usually gone within three days. My boys just gobble it down. It's really good too. Um, probably have shown you this before, but for those who haven't seen before, um, they're all kind of stuck together, but these are how they look, and they're amazing. Delicious. Um, I got the 20 pounds of onions. Because it's cheaper to get so many onions, We this will probably last us hmm, about two months. Um, so I got the organic onions, and they are so fresh. Like, I've bought smaller amounts before, and... Um, they were a little more expensive because you're not buying in bulk, but I've noticed with these onions that they are amazingly fresh. And the last order I made um, was two months ago of onions and they lasted us two months. So why not save the money? Um, then I got, this is my first time ordering this huge bag of Redmond's Real Salt. Uh, this is good for canning. Um, and it's also amazing, it tastes good and it has all the minerals that are most of our salt that is processed doesn't have. Uh, this is the calico cheese. Um, my kids and I are gluten and dairy free just because of allergies and gut problems. But my husband is a tank. He can eat whatever, he can eat whatever he wants. He got this calico Monterey Jack and Colby cheese. He says it's amazing and um, that'll last him about two months for his lunches. We can freeze it, you can freeze part of it. So usually what happens is we'll take a quarter of it out now and slice it up with a cheese slicer and then we freeze the rest and he takes it out like once a week. Um, and then when I got more coconut sugar. I ordered the five pound in preparation for the holidays. I do a lot of baking, a lot of gluten and dairy free baking and also it's going to be low glycemic because of the coconut sugar. Coconut sugar is, is better for you than refined sugar and that's what we eat for most of the baking that I do. Um, I ordered a pound of garlic powder and then last month I ran out of cumin and Azure was completely out of cumin so I ordered three, three pounds of cumin. Got some more canning jars. These are awesome, I love them. These are the um, Azure brand canning jars. As you can see, it says Azure on the label. And they come with the lids. Some of the canning jars you will buy out there do not come with the lids, but these do. And I got, last, last month I ordered these six whole chickens from Azure, they're, they are pasture raised, organic. I think it was about 160 for six of them. It goes by pound. Wait, yeah, I got six. I thought there was an extra one in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, it goes by pound and they were so good. I think we still have two left in the freezer, but um, you know, I'm kind of stocking up a little bit for the winter and I'm probably gonna can some of it, so. I ordered the six again this month. Um, again, for baking, during the holiday, I ordered the coconut cream. I use this in my pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie recipe actually about to hit next week. So you can see that it's a gluten and dairy-free pumpkin pie and it tastes just like the real thing. That's coming next week, beginning of next week. Um, so I stocked up on these coconut creams. And okay, so we're gluten and dairy-free and we love this pasta even before we started 
using Azure. We've loved this pasta and it's just a really good price, especially when you buy it in bulk. I bought 12 of each, so I bought 12 of the spaghetti kind of pasta and then 12 of the organic brown rice pasta. And this will probably last us, you know, we don't eat a ton of pasta, but it's good to have on hand, especially in today's economic climate. So, I mean, <clears throat> this will probably last us a few months, th maybe three or four months, but um, I always like to have something, you know, on hand. You never know. Um, and then, this is a regular of ours. We get these every month if they're available. This is the, I wanna say 30 pound. I believe 30 pound, it could be 20 pound. This is the mango, they're frozen mangoes. And especially my oldest son loves frozen mangoes. We use them in smoothies or um, we make acai bowls. I know I probably said acai wrong, so. I'll probably get people correcting me, but that's okay. Um, so that's what we got this month. Oh, <clears throat> we also got 20 pounds of pears and a lot of them were bad. Actually, these are the best out of all of them. So I, there's a few other in there like that, but I wanted to show you the pears. I did get a refund. It was $25. And I got, I'm probably going to have to throw out more than half of them, but they refunded me the whole thing. So that's what happens when you shop with Azure. If anything is bad, they will refund you the whole amount. And it's so easy. You just get on the chat, get on their website, click on the chat, tell them that, you know, something was bad. And it took me less than two minutes to get a refund. Okay. And then I ordered the Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour. Usually I make my own gluten-free baking flour, but during the holidays, I like to use this because it makes things a little easier for me. We do a lot of baking during the holidays. We give baked goods as gifts. We give cookies as gifts. And I wanted to show you on the back of this is the Bob's Red Mill classic chocolate chip cookie recipe. We have used this before and it's really good. And then I ordered 25 pounds of the non-GMO Thai jasmine rice. We like the jasmine rice and we're basically stocked now for the next two months. That's my Azure haul for the month of October. And now I wanna get into how we store our things. Okay, and now I wanna show you what we do when we store all of our food buying in bulk you know you're you're going to need a, a way to store it and then this is how we store our mangoes dried mangoes just put them in one of these gallon jars that i got from azure these were i believe 18 dollars for four but these do not come with the lids my hands are clean, don't worry. Um, these do not come with the lids. So if you order these, this is a great deal, by the way, $18 for four of these. I don't think you'll find that any, anywhere else cheaper. Um, so what I do is I just put all of our dried fruit into these. Pack it down a little bit. That's our dried mango. And then I just take this and I store it on the counter. Okay, next, how we store our coconut sugar. These are the two and a half gallon buckets from Azure. And I already have some coconut sugar in there and I'm gonna be adding some more coconut sugar. It's in a bag. I know it's in a bag. <laughs> I just forgot. Um, 
go. Put all of that in there. And then I take the label. I take the label off of here. first time ordering this large amount of Redmond's Real Salt. Usually I would store what we order in one of these Azure jars, but I'm going to store this in one of these two and a half gallon buckets. a little bit more in the actually there's a lot more in the bag probably one-eighth of the package is still is left over in the bag I'm probably gonna store that in mason jars when we're canning we do go through that salt pretty quickly so I will be going through that salt and then I just store this in our pantry okay for spices I ordered quite a bit of cumin this month and I want to show you how to store my cumin. I'll probably just take these two bags that are not open yet and just keep them in my pantry. But as for this one, we have been in need of cumin for quite some time. So I'm just going to pour all of this right into my jar. Smells so good. Push it down a little bit. I noticed that the spices from Azure are much more fragrant and have much more taste than like, say if you were to go to the grocery store and get some spices. Um, I don't know why that is. Maybe they're fresher and the ones in the grocery store, maybe they sit for a while, but I can use a lot less spice when I, um, when I use the Azure spices. Okay. So that's cumin. That is one pound of cumin and that all fits into this. Azure 32 ounce mason jar. Okay. Now I'm just going to put the top on and I have it labeled in the front, cumin, labeled on, labeled on the top, cumin. I'm gonna do my garlic. The garlic is so good as well, it's very flavorful. All their spices are. And I just love having enough spices on hand. You know, I can't imagine having to go, usually I'll rinse this out, but most of the time I use cumin and garlic together, so I'm just gonna go for it. Um, I can't imagine having to go to the grocery store and buying like a tiny little jar of spices for like $5. <laughs> when this whole pound of garlic I believe it was six dollars. I'll write that on when I when I edit the video. I'll I'll write it out for you. I'll let you know what it is. Type it onto the page. But uh, I just can't imagine like what a waste of money. You know? If you bang it, if you bang it a little bit, all the spice goes down. There we go. So that is one pound of garlic right into my as your standard canning jar. 
and I'll show you what I do with these in my pantry. So, here's my pantry. Actually just cleaned it out to get it ready for the winter. And here's what I do with all my spices. I just, I have these, I got these from Target. You could probably get them cheaper somewhere else. I got them on sale. Uh, and I have most of my spices here. Some of my other spices are uh, in a cabinet above my stove. But this is most of them. I got the Azure Vanilla last month, which is so good. I've already used some of it. And what's this? Oh, this is just chocolate chips. Um, yeah, so that's what I do with my spices. Okay, the frozen mangoes. You really don't even have to let them thaw at all. These are a little bit thawed, but even if they weren't thawed as much, you could just, I usually just bang them with my cup. They come apart. And then I just, if anybody has a less toxic idea of storing frozen foods, please let me know because we use baggies a lot. Um, but you know, the plastic really isn't good for us. So that's what I do. I fill up my whole baggie, okay? And I usually get about 15 baggies from this. And I just seal it and that goes in our freezer. And these are not gonna last a long time, so I'm not even gonna date it. They'll be gone before I finish dating them. Next, I will tell you what I do with these onions. Um, so, you know, it's not always fun to chop up onions before you make dinner. And we use a lot of onions in our cooking. I will take about half of these onions and chop them up today and just stick them in baggies and stick them in the freezer. And the other half I'll use, you know, as soon as, I, as, soon as possible. Okay, now for the chickens and anything else frozen. I do have a freezer in my garage. That helps, especially if you're gonna be buying meats and other things. Um, for the rice, I probably could use a five gallon, but I don't have enough room in my pantry. So I just use a few two and a half gallon buckets. Um, and then I'll also put a um, gallon container of rice on my counter over there with all the other goodies on my counter so that I can just pull out from it when I need to. Uh, Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour, same thing. I'm just gonna put that in a two and a half gallon bucket. Okay, so I think that is it for my Azure haul, along with some tips on how I store everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.